Welcome to foodfeedinfo.com. Uh, previously, I have uploaded a video about dry matter determination, and that video was in uh, local language. So, most of the persons they requested for uploading the video in English. So, that's why uh, I'm just recording this uh, video. Uh, so, what is dry matter and why we need to know about the dry matter? Dry matter are the contents when we are dry a sample in an oven. The reason being why we use uh, dry matter values because the nutrient composition of all feedstuffs they are reflected, they are given in different books or nutrient requirement table on dry matter basis. If we know the dry matter content of a feedstuff then uh, it could be easy to calculate how much dry matter an animal is consuming. So now the question arises, uh, how we can uh, know the dry matter content of a feedstuff. So you can follow the book value or if you have some instrument uh, like uh, oven, you can get your sample dry. And for commercial feed, uh, the label uh, have the content uh, that reflect the dry matter content of that uh, concentrate or feed formula. Uh, so for drying, you need uh, a drying oven. Here you can see we have a stuff. Uh, this stuff is dried in an oven and this is this one is also a green material that is also dried uh, in an oven so we calculate uh, actually the intake of this type of stuff and we can also convert this uh, into fresh matter basis if we know the dry matter content of a few stuff now look at this after drying the material can get easily crushed so this is oven drying. Uh, some of the people they have the value for sun drying, uh, but that cannot be uh, used for calculating the uh, dry matter intake values. And uh, uh, reason being uh, that drying is not a complete drying, and that depends upon uh, the sunshine. So uh, I recommend uh, to go for drying the sample in an oven. That oven drying is the best way to determine the dry matter. Do not go for calculating the dry matter on sun drying basis. So here are some thumb rules which we usually follow while formulating animal diet. In case of ruminant animal, uh, we have to consider the capacity or intake capacity of an animal. How much dry matter an animal can consume. So it case of cow it is 2.5 percent of the live body weight in case of buffalo it is three percent and then for sheep horse and beef so for calculating uh, this dry matter intake we always consider the stuff that has been dried through oven so by following the thumb rule uh, we calculate the total dry matter intake of an animal and then the total dry matter intake is divided into uh, the two components where we are feeding rough edges and concentrate separately. Uh, in this case, uh, the total dry matter intake will be divided into rough edges that is two third of the total DMI and concentrate one third of the total DMI. Again, uh, we have two types of roughages, green roughages and dry roughages. So the total roughage intake is further divided into green roughages and dry roughages. So two thirds of the total roughage intake should come from green or wet roughages and one third from the dry roughages. Green roughages have mean silage, green fodder or for other forages and dry roughages have been wheat straw. Or other dry stuff and concentrate is usually a concentrated or compound feed prepared for animal feeding so here uh, a question arises what should we would do in case of tmr so in case of tmr uh, the total intake should be met from the tmr well uh, in case of tmr all dry matter intake uh, should be met uh, through this uh, TMR because TMR contain both concentrate and roughages component. So 
I'm uh, going to now explain how one can calculate the total dry matter intake of an animal who is consuming different type of stuff. So first of all, we should uh, go for calculating the total dry matter intake. So that is either 2.5% in case of cow or 3% in case of buffalo. So if it is 3%, so in case of 500 kg animal, it become 15 kg. So 15 kg is the total dry matter intake of that buffalo whose body weight is 500 kg. So roughage intake is two third of the total dry matter intake then uh, two third of 15 uh, it becomes 10 kg. And out of that 10 kg uh, we should feed green refugees as well as dry refugees. So that depends upon your feeding system. Uh, but uh, if we are feeding the green refugees and dry refugees both then one third uh, should be met from the dry refugees and two third from the green refugees so for green refugees two third of 10 is 6.66 kg and one third of uh, this 10 kg is 3.34 this is the dry refugees and for concentrate it is two it is one third of the total dry matter intake so the total dry matter intake is 15 kg so one third of 15 is 5 kg so uh, an animal uh, particularly if it is a buffalo whose body weight is 500 kg that animal will consume 15 kg of total dry matter and out of this 6.66 will be met from green refugees and 3.34 from dry refugees and 5 kg of concentrate uh, should be given to this animal. Uh, so then how we can calculate the dry matter intake? So first of all, we must uh, have the data regarding the dry matter content of that particular feed stuff. So here is the table. Uh, here you can say, uh, see uh, this corn uh, dry matter content is 20.1 when that corn is at its milk stage. Similarly for bajra, it is 29.9 bajra is a millet jar that is a sorghum then guara barsim lucen oat barley wheat straw and then uh, rice straw then there are many other feedstuffs so you can get these dry matter values uh, from uh, any book or a feed composition tables so First of all, if we are feeding a corn fodder to the animal and we are feeding a 40 kg of corn fodder and its dry matter content is 18.5%. So uh, through calculation, uh, you can calculate the amount of total dry matter intake. So 18.5% means 18.5 divided by 100. So it become uh, the amount of dry matter in one kg. Now multiply it with the total amount of corn fodder given to the animal. So after multiplying, we get a figure of 7.4. So it means if we are feeding a uh, corn fodder in a fresh state of 40 kg. So on dry matter basis, it becomes 7.4 kg. Similarly, you can calculate for wheat straw. If we are feeding 3 kg of wheat straw, then on dry matter basis, uh, that is equivalent to 2.78. The reason being its dry matter content is 92.5%. So 92.5 divided by 100 and multiplied uh, this figure with 3, we get 2.78. And for concentrate, we can calculate in the same way. So usually uh, the different companies, they have a different type of feedstuffs for their concentrate formulation so you can uh, check uh, the amount of dry matter given on the concentrate bag tag so from that tag uh, uh, we have a concentrate uh, of 91 percent uh, dry matter so if we are feeding 5 kg of concentrate and it contain 91 percent dry matter so the dry matter intake is 4.55 so this is the complete chart or complete table of all these calculations. So the corn fodder on fresh matter basis, it is 40 kg, wheat straw 3, concentrate 5, total become 48. So we are feeding 
on fresh matter or as such basis 48 kg of these three feedstuffs so keeping in view their dry matter contents after calculation we get that this animal is consuming 14.73 kg of dry matter so it means we are fulfilling that dry matter intake of this animal whose body weight is 500 kg and on dry matter basis this animal is consuming 14.733 in total so this is how you can calculate the amount of dry matter intake uh, in case of your own animals so here are some of the guidelines that have already been discussed uh, uh, in Russian formulation uh, videos okay, as on as fat basis you can calculate the green fodder uh, simply uh, on the basis of 10% of their body weight of the animal so this is all about uh, this present i hope uh, you have any comment or any suggestion uh, you can ask uh, in the comment or you can visit uh, the website and you can uh, ask your question on the website thank you for watching